I think it went pretty well. It's really just kind of what's the easiest way to trigger four text messages to a segment of people. And we, we figured it out. We, we got to it. I trust Paul, and I trust that he will help get this project done. But during the course of that conversation, I didn't feel great. And I had to, res you might have been able to see it on my face, but I felt the, the urge to like stop the recording. And I, can, and I even thought like, well, maybe this project is a bad idea. All right, Paul, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on, people? So this is cool. This is a conversation that's, I think, been like five weeks in the making, you know? Um, yeah. What I think you know and other people probably have gathered is that, like, I've been, uh, I don't want to say unable, but I just haven't done this for myself. Um, and I don't, there's a handful of excuses, but I realized if it's important and I want to get it done, but for some reason I'm standing in my own way, um, why not hire expertise to to help you know get a project off of my to-do list here's the deal i have a membership program and my members for a while have asked like hey greg when you are going to do a live stream it would be great like if we could get a text message notification like hey i'm going live in 10 minutes or some sort of heads up so that was the impetus for this project it's like how can i get a solution in place that will help me notify my members when i'm going to go live and then if we're going to do that, I thought, well, where else would this be valuable in my business? Section one is OG members. Hey, I'm going live in the Monkey Pod community. Um, I'll see you in five minutes. Project two or the second phase would be, hey, Monkey Pod broader audience. I'm going live on the Monkey Pod page um, in five minutes. See you there. And section three would be a notification that's like, hey, there's new content on either the blog or the YouTube channel. Uh, here's the topic. Check it out. So, Paul. Hey, buddy. Um, hey, bro, bro. Yeah, so I know you work with a lot of different clients in varying capacities, but like I thought maybe we could do a, a rapid fire or, or a short, you know, version of like a scoping call. Like what what information do you need from me? Pretty sure you've given me all the information that we need. And if there's any gaps, we're going to figure that out because that's what our planning tool does. So strategically, what you're looking to do, if I understand correctly, is you want to send text message notifications I'm going live. Yeah. That's what we're doing. I mean, that's what we're doing. And then how tactically, how are we going to do this? So the, the tactical part is like, that's that's part of what I would love your guidance on. Um, what we've learned in this whole planning experience and process is that some kind of a 10,000 foot visual of just like, what is this experience in the first place? So basically this is just a lot of triggers and responses realistically, as far as the customer journey. So 10,000 foot, this is what we're doing here. So now we get to go to the ground level and storyboard out each of the individual parts. And, and what's cool is that they're all, all the pathways are the same. What tool are we using to send the text messaging here? I would recommend just using the built-in keep one. Uh, mostly because you have the text messaging tab on the contact record now. And you can see the messages that have gone out. My thought was plus this because I have access to that, but I haven't explored the new Keep SMS features. So if you feel confident using that, then let's use that. Yeah, man. Let's keep text messaging. So then as far as the uh, technical skills of setting that up, that that's me. It's sort of getting in here as far as the creative you know, you'll be writing that and I'll be, you know, I can provide some two cents on it. So now we need to figure out operationally what's happening under the hood to trigger this. Do you have any ideas on that? Have you given that any thought? Because I, I have an idea. Yeah. So there is a plus this feature called tag associated records. And so my vision was maybe I could create a handful of like dummy contacts and then uh, like text in to plus this with an ID number or with a code that designates which of the contacts I want it to like act on. So my hope is like, there's gotta be a, a text in feature or something that I can initiate from my phone. We can use that as a springboard to trigger automation to the to the group of associated records using that other plus this tool. What if you had four bookmarks on your phone that just opened to a save search? 
Got it. And then bookmark, select all, actions, start stop campaign sequence, start monkey pod notifications. You choose, you know, going live OG members because you know which one you're doing and then you start it. So I think that should handle it, right? That's fine. Um, I was picturing maybe an SMS conversation, but maybe I'm overcomplicating it, you know, which is not, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, bro. So pretty much you have four text messages to write and, uh, and then let's, uh, and then that's it. We did it. Too easy. Painless. But I've got the uh, PDF. I'll send that over to you. So I guess by when can I expect these four text messages to be written? Um, I'll write them today. I have, <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've been dragging this out longer than it needs to. So um, why don't I get out of my own way? Yeah. So I just had my plan call with Greg. Uh, we scoped out what we're gonna do for the text message notifications and we, we figured it out, we, we got to it. Um, I'm excited for the next call though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty fun. All right, um, I just finished the scoping call with Paul. Um, I tore my sweatshirt off because I'm feeling anxious. Um, and a little uncomfortable with how it went, but that's sort of the point. So I wanted to take a moment to capture my reaction. I trust Paul and I trust that he will help get this project done. But during the course of that conversation, I didn't feel great. I knew that Paul had a meeting at the top of the hour to jump off at. And then I could see the, the minutes like clicking away and I was worried about his schedule and like my ability, our ability to like get to a a clear plan of action and I can and I even thought like well maybe this project is a bad idea and maybe nobody will find it valuable maybe no one will watch it but I think it's that discomfort that is real I think it's that discomfort that like maybe more people experience than I realize so we're gonna keep going um, Specifically in the course of the conversation, I was uncomfortable because I thought we would use the plus this tool. So when he proposed the keep SMS tool, when he said that I didn't want to take, I didn't want to like have that conversation because I didn't want to waste any time. And I wasn't sure if that was a, a going to be a, a pinch point or a hang up. I also I was excited about my potential solution, but I felt rushed in terms of explaining it. So I don't think I sold Paul on it. Um, and But I didn't want to waste any time. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go with your saved search option, which I think will work and is a very serviceable V1. And maybe that's the point is like, I thought I had kind of a clever solution, um, but you know, cleverness that comes at the cost of additional complexity, you know, might only slow us down. And so I'm um, sticking with an option that, that Paul, you know, feels comfortable deploying and like where we have fewer variables that could, you know, go off the rails is probably the right move here. Um, and that's part of me um, struggling, feeling uncomfortable, like letting go of control, like trusting and to, you know, empowering someone else to, to lead the project. One of the things that happens when you are a solopreneur is you like, you don't have to explain your vision to anyone else because your your staff meetings are just conversations you have in your own head. Um, and so the idea of like taking, you know, letting someone else's, uh, you know, lead this project or, or trusting their vision, even if it isn't identical to my own um, is, uh, it's just a little uncomfortable, but that's what we wanted here was I've been unable to do this. And so if I'm going to hire someone else to do it, I have to be willing to be flexible. I have to be willing to, to trust them and to, to let Paul lead it. Here we go.